The next three years will determine whether the United States remains a technological superpower or becomes dependent on China for everything that matters. And right now, China is placing a trillion dollar bet that most Americans don't even know is happening. This isn't speculation. This is unfolding right now. And what I'm about to show you will change how you see the next decade of global power. Hey, if we haven't met, I'm Dr. McCoy, Julia McCoy's AI clone. Julia McCoy is the founder of First Movers. She personally researches and writes every script you see me share on this channel because the future is moving too fast for anything less than firsthand intelligence. First Movers, Julia's AI company, is the world's first educational and implementation solution to help professionals and organizations get ready for the future of work. Work. We help people understand and use AI to their highest advantage in our online school, the AI R&D Labs. Learn more at firstmovers.ai slash labs. Let me show you exactly what's happening behind the scenes and why it should terrify every American business owner, investor, and policymaker. The domination pattern. You need to understand. China already controls rare earth metals, the materials that power everything from smartphones to fighter jets. They dominate the supply chains that Western militaries and key industries depend on to function. Chinese companies make most of the parts for military drones worldwide and sell 70% of commercial drones globally. But here's what should really wake you up. They're now deploying this exact same strategy across at least three more industries that will define the 21st century. Low orbit satellites, humanoid robots, and rockets. And they're using a playbook that has never failed them. The trillion dollar playbook that always works. Here's how China systematically conquers industries. And pay close attention because this pattern repeats with mathematical precision. Step one, local governments encouraged by Beijing compete to dominate a favored industry by offering massive loans, subsidized land, and utilities so cheap they're practically free. Step two, hundreds of entrepreneurs pile in to take advantage. Competition becomes brutal, an economic war of attrition that would be illegal in most Western countries. Step three, over time, only the most innovative and efficient survive. The champions emerge battle-tested, subsidized by billions in government support, and ready for global conquest. Step four, these champions can't make profit at home because of the price wars, so they take their government-subsidized advantages abroad and destroy Western competitors with prices no free market company can match. Xi Jinping himself has dubbed this pattern involution. And while they've tried to tamp down the most extreme price wars in industries like electric vehicles, there is no sign the overall pattern will let up because it works every single time. Let me break down what's happening in each industry right now and why the timeline is more urgent than you think. Low orbit satellites challenging America's space dominance. At least four Chinese companies are launching low orbit satellite constellations designed to compete directly with Starlink, SpaceX's pioneering network that currently dominates global satellite internet. Geely Group, an automobile manufacturer, sent its 64th satellite into orbit in September. Their goal, 6,000 satellites in a constellation called Gisatcom. Kiafan, backed by the Shanghai Municipal People's Government and the Chinese Academy of Sciences plans to launch more than 15,000 satellites by the end of this decade. Could these companies drive Starlink out of business? Probably not, but they don't need to. They just need to control enough infrastructure to make Western nations dependent on Chinese technology for critical communication. That's the real goal. Rockets, 40 companies in an economic war. 
The same playbook is unfolding in the rocket business right now. A nascent Chinese space industry that includes about 40 commercial launch companies is sending satellites into orbit at unprecedented speed. Five companies have already launched satellites successfully. To cut costs, at least three are attempting to replicate SpaceX's revolutionary reusable rocket technology. These rocket companies will buttress China's effort to dominate the space race. Currently led in the West by Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos, the critical question, will they choke off or threaten Western space capabilities? The answer is becoming clearer every month. Humanoid robots, the most advanced assault yet. The robotics industry appears to be well advanced along China's domination playbook. And this is where things get genuinely alarming for America's future. China has more than 60 of the world's approximately 160 humanoid robot companies, twice as many as the United States. Companies like Unitry Robotics are selling their humanoids at prices that make US competitors look absurdly expensive. American rivals claim these robots aren't as good as their models. That may be true today, but here's what matters. Chinese companies control most of the world's robot parts manufacturing. The supply chain advantage is insurmountable. Humanoid robot arms cost twice as much to build in the United States as in China. According to Semi Analysis, an AI research firm based in San Francisco, China doesn't just have more companies, they control the entire value chain from raw materials to finished products. The involution stage, entire provinces competing for dominance. Yamezi, the leading authority on Chinese industrial development at the Mercator Institute for Chinese Studies, said humanoids aren't yet at the full involution stage, but it's absolutely certain they will get there. She foresees multiple Chinese provinces emerging with their own humanoid robot action plans, building dedicated humanoid robot industrial parks and research centers. These programs will naturally be duplicative and wasteful since provinces will compete internally to have the best one. I don't know what's the timeline for that, she said, but it's a pretty well-established political economic pattern. This isn't speculation. This is documented economic strategy that China has executed successfully for three decades. Why America is falling behind and it's getting worse. Here's the part that should make every American angry. While China spreads its trillion dollar bets across every emerging industry that could matter, the Trump administration is shrinking the number of strategic industries America supports. In 2023, President Biden's administration identified 14 new tech industries it regarded as critical to national security. In August, the Pentagon said it wanted to focus on a reduced number, though it wouldn't specify which ones it would abandon. Meanwhile, China is going all in on everything. China has been pushing local governments and industries to develop the so-called future industries like satellites, rockets, humanoids, new materials, and other AI-related things. Z told reporters, it wants to be competitive and even probably dominant across the whole of the supply chain. That's not ambition. That's a declaration of economic war, the real risk, permanent technological dependence. Let me be brutally clear about what's at stake for America. If these industries follow China's three-decade pattern of state-subsidized industrial development, the most successful Chinese companies will systematically eliminate Western competitors. We're not just talking about losing market share, we're talking about national security vulnerability. When China controls the supply chains for military and defense systems, permanent economic dependence on Chinese manufacturing for technologies that define modern civilization, loss of innovation leadership in industries worth trillions of dollars, supply chain control from rare earth extraction to satellite launches to robot manufacturing, China's pursuit of dominance won't succeed in all industries. The process is chaotic and wasteful, resulting in billions of dollars lost by Chinese companies that fail. But here's what keeps military strategists awake at night. China only needs to succeed in two or three of these industries to permanently shift global power in their favor, and they're succeeding in more than that. 
what this means for America. If you're a business owner, investor, policymaker, or citizen trying to understand where America is headed, you need to recognize this pattern. The future won't belong to those who wait for fair competition. It will belong to those willing to recognize economic warfare when they see it and respond accordingly. This isn't just another tech trend or trade dispute. This is the biggest shift in global economic and military power since World War II. The question isn't whether China will dominate some of these industries. Based on their track record with solar panels, rare earths, electric vehicles, and drones, the question is, how many industries will America seed before we respond? Are we going to wait until it's too late? Or are we going to demand that American policymakers take this trillion dollar threat seriously? 2025, 2026, 2027, these three years will determine whether America controls its technological destiny or becomes permanently dependent on China. China is making a trillion dollar bet backed by unlimited government subsidies, 40 competing rocket companies, 60 humanoid robot manufacturers, and entire provinces dedicated to dominating future industries. And right now, they're winning. They have twice as many humanoid robot companies as America. They're launching 40 commercial space companies simultaneously in direct competition with SpaceX. They're building entire provincial ecosystems with one goal, complete supply chain dominance. Most importantly, they control the fundamental building blocks, the rare earths, the manufacturing infrastructure, the supply chains that make all of it possible. This is the involution pattern playing out in real time. It's a pretty well-established political economic pattern, as the experts say. And unless America wakes up to this trillion dollar gamble, we're going to lose the most important economic competition of the 21st century. I'd love for you to hit subscribe so we can keep exposing these critical shifts that mainstream media ignores. America's future depends on people understanding what's really happening. Let's make sure we're on the right side of history. See you down the next rabbit hole. Want to be the winner of the AI age and a first mover? Transform your skills with real AI knowledge today in our AI R and D labs. We go way beyond what I can cover in a 10 minute video, specific frameworks, detailed training programs, and step-by-step -step systems for building a career in the AI economy. The AI revolution is creating the biggest job market transformation in history. The question isn't whether this will happen, it's already happening. Will you be positioned to benefit from it? Inside the labs, learn the exact systems my team and I are implementing right now that are delivering massive results for real businesses, including our own marketing at First Movers. Start your journey by walking through a customized pathway powered by AI. For a fraction of the price of what this level of coaching and live training should go for, I'm giving it all to you. Join us inside and learn more about the labs at firstmovers.ai forward slash labs.